Now, Calvin, look, what I find so ironic about this is that folk like you and me have been hypercritical of Boris Johnson and the government over their lockdown regulations. But that doesn't mean that they should resign, does it? Well, not if it's the media that's pushing for this. Again, <clears throat> that move we saw with uh, Sky News where they showed the front doors, this is the noise of silence. This is, it's like a gimmick, like what Channel 4 did with the ice cube block of, yeah. of melting. It, they have waited for this man to agenda. go for years. Let's be honest, they want him out. But on the flip side, he has an amazing PR team. His, his PR is fantastic. Look at the, the fact that he went to Kiev days before this came out. Look mm. at the fact that the, the person who questioned Allegra Stratton has been fired as a scapegoat. Look at the fact that the whips are sending messages around all the Tory MPs right now, and I'm not, I'm not on Twitter because of Lent, but I suspect a lot of MPs are tweeting support for Boris right now with similar wording. Uh, his PR team is well, fantastic. Well, a few are, Dawn. I mean, there hasn't actually been an overwhelming outpouring of support this time around because it's not the end of this. No, uh, and that's interesting. And I think, you know, I, the, the country are angry. I'm, I'm angry at the hypocrisy involved in this. Not the party. I don't give a monkey's if they had a party, to be honest with you. Mm. But I'm angry at well, the Well, it's not a party, is it? Can I just clarify something? It might have been against the law, but your work colleagues bringing in a cake on your birthday and you accepting the cake and standing there chatting for 10 minutes, that isn't a party. We need well, to get our land. I've been right. to world of parties, it has to be said. However, we are calling it party gate, so let's use the shorthand that everyone's using. I don't give a monkey about that. What I do give a monkey is, is they stop people, as we've said just now, seeing, <coughs> you know, dying loved ones, stop little kids playing sport. The ridiculous, ludicrous, nonsensical lockdown rules. But I am actually pleased with this. I'm really happy tonight because... Because of this, it means those hypocritical liars will never, ever be able to lock us down again, Dan. Mm. None of us will ever do that again. All we've got to do is point at this and go, no, mate, not doing it.